Slack is one of the most popularly used workspace communication apps and it's also one of the most lightweight and stable, but it's not perfect. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're going over a couple of general fixes you can try if Slack isn't opening on your system. Now, unless you've downloaded Slack from the Microsoft Store, you cannot really repair or reset the app. Uh, so if you're using the web installer, you pretty much your only option is to uninstall and reinstall the app again. But before you try that, one thing that you can try out is to open up the run prompt by pressing Windows key plus R, tap in, uh, type in local app data and then click OK. Uh, now a new folder will open up and in this folder, we're going to find the Slack folder, which is right here. If you open this, you will see that uh, it has a bunch of files. It has the Slack updater. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run this updater. If we double click this, it doesn't really do anything, but it launches the Slack updater out in front. Uh, once this updater has run, once uh, we can minimize this folder and now you can try launching Slack again. If that doesn't work, what we're going to do is uh, press Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu and we're going to go to the task manager. Uh, in here, we're going to find uh, any and all Slack processes that are running. So as you can see here, I have seven Slack processes that are running at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to just select the topmost one, right click and then click on end task. Once the task has finished, Slack should disappear from this list. And now we're just going to very quickly search. So there is no Slack appearing here. And now if I go ahead and launch Slack, it should open up and it does, except it does that on a different screen. So as you can see, Slack is now open. Last but not least, if nothing else works for you, your best option is to go ahead and uninstall Slack only to reinstall it again, this time from the Microsoft Store. Now we're going to press Windows key plus X uh, to bring up the quick access menu and then click on installed apps we wait for this list to load and let's search for slack in the list as you can see this is slack right here if i go all the way to the other side click on more options you see that there is no advanced option settings and that's because we downloaded uh i downloaded this version of slack from the web and not the microsoft store so uh i cannot sort of repair or reset the app using the usual settings so we're just going to go ahead and click on uninstall uh, you know what you're doing. So Windows will give you a warning. So go ahead and click and uninstall again. And once the app has uh, been removed from your system, what you can do is that you can head over to the Microsoft Store. And then search for Slack. We'll see it appear right here. And now you can go ahead and install Slack again. Now, uh, as you can see, I did not delete Slack, but I still have the option to install it. And that's because I uh, this is the sort of universal Windows version of Slack. And what I'm using is the web version of Slack. And those are two separate apps. So if I click on install, um, you can see that this is downloading. This will take a while, but essentially why I'm installing it is so that I can show you one more fix that you can try if you have downloaded Slack from the Microsoft Store. Uh, this does not work on the web version, which you just saw. So as you can see, I now have Slack installed. And if I click on open, it opens up the general Slack app. Why? Because it has now merged the two apps together. So now if I go to installed apps once again, and if I search for Slack, I should see two different apps here. So one of these is the Windows version, uh, Windows Universal version, which we downloaded from the Microsoft Store. And one is the sort of your uh, uh, web installer version. So we can go ahead and get rid of the web installer version now. Click on uninstall. Wait for this to disappear from the list. All right. And now, now we're left with the Microsoft Store version. So go ahead all the way to the other end. Uh, click on advanced options. And now you can see uh, if you scroll all the way down a repair and a reset option. So if Slack isn't working properly for you and you downloaded it from the Microsoft Store, once again, this only works if you've downloaded the app from the Microsoft Store. Go ahead and click on repair. 
and as you can see the app is repaired and it should start working at this point if it doesn't you can go ahead and reset it do keep in mind that you will have to log into all of your workspaces again and all app data will be deleted if these two uh options don't fix your problem then you can go ahead delete slack and then reinstall it either the web version or the microsoft store version whatever works for you they're identical when it comes to uh, functionality so you're not really missing out on much if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.